what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Tuesday, former NFL quarterback with the San Francisco 49ers, Colin Kaepernick, visited New York's infamous Rikers Island prison to surprise the inmates. According to a Department of Corrections spokesperson, Colin was there to share a message of hope and inspiration. But according to the New York Daily News, Kaepernick's very presence angered some prison officials, including Elias Husamadine, the president of the Correction Officers Benevolent Association. Here's what Husamadine had to say. This will only encourage inmates to continue to attack correction officers at a time when we need more protection. <laughs> now, it's not clear how Husamadine decided that Colin Kaepernick sharing a message of hope and inspiration to the inmates would rally the troops to turn on the officers and attack them. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> now that was not the only thing that Osama Dean had a problem with. He was also offended by the fact that the inmates wore suits. This, uh, he said that uh, this, this wearing these suits is a bad idea. We're living in a world of make-believe, he said, because inmates don't wear suits. He said, give the suits to the men in the streets looking for jobs before they come to jail. Now, the reason why the inmates wore suits is because this uh, was in conjunction with the organization 100 Suits for 100 Men a program for young adult inmates who are mentored in financial literacy, becomes members of a book club, and listen to guest speakers. So, oh, that sounds good to me, man. I don't know what the problem is. I mean, I just, I just can't see the problem. He said, you know, give the suits to the men in the streets that's looking for jobs. Who says that they aren't doing that already? Why you can't Support more than one cause. People act like you can't walk and chew bubble gum. I get tired of seeing people complain about somebody giving to this organization or contributing to that organization. Like, if I contribute to this organization, that means that I must don't care about this organization over here. Or I can't uh, be sympathetic towards this cause this person's problem because I didn't say anything about this person's problem. Like I got to catch every damn problem. I got to catch every news story. I got to give to every organization, but no, I don't have to give to every organization. People typically align themselves with organizations that, that they feel most passionate about. It doesn't mean that I don't feel feel anything for a particular organization that I don't donate to is just that I only got so much money to donate and I got so much time to donate. So you got to pick your battles. It just blows my mind how people will find anything to complain about. And the people that complain the most are the ones who do the least. They are the ones who are least active in the community. Woo, but the motherfuckers all over social media tapping their asses. Motherfucker like, they like, I got they got a machine gun or something. All that damn complaining. That uh, president of the uh, correctional uh, officers Benevolent Association. And first of all, ain't nothing benevolent about correctional officers. Let's get that out there. Correctional officers, most of them, and I say most of them because I know personally a few that was all right, that did all right by me. And I watched them from a distance and they treated other inmates good also. 
I mean, they treated them fair, not necessarily good, but they treated them fair. So I got to salute them. But most of them, man, most of those dudes are out there to make those inmates life a living hell. They look forward to it. They are bullies, just like cops on the streets. They are bullies, man. And they come to work looking to unload and boss people around. McCray. What's up, McCray? Officer McCray. Beaumont. Appreciate you, homie. Um, but yeah, most of these guys, they come and they like, they live it up. They love to see the inmates at odds. They love it when inmates don't necessarily comply because they like to have an excuse to go upside the inmate's head. This is what they do. And this, uh, this dude who doing all that talking, he a hater, man. He mad just like a lot of the other people that are mad when they see Colin Kaepernick. Even the football players, it's, it's even football players out there and not just football players, but athletes, period, who are upset that Colin gets so much attention. If you're so damn upset that he's getting so much attention, why don't you go out there and do something great? Why don't you go out there and stand up for something? Stand for a cause. Put something on the line. Risk your financial freedom. Risk your independence. Risk your freedom. Is there anything that you have in your life that you're willing to risk it all for? Is there any cause? Since a lot of y'all love to talk about causes and who ain't doing what and who need to do this and I don't like this person because they don't do this and they need to be doing more. What are you doing? I ain't saying Colin Kaepernick is perfect. Hell, I know he ain't perfect. But I'm just saying, man, it's hard to not like that dude. It's hard to be a decent person. See, you can come up with all of those little excuses that you want to about standing for the flag and he don't do this and oh, that guy's, you can come up with all that dumb shit you want to. But when you do that, it lets me know who you really are. You're not mad about Colin Kaepernick not standing for the flag because you didn't stand for the flag either many a times. When you're watching the, the game at home, how many times have you stood when, when the national anthem came on? Chances are you sit on that couch or you sit in that chair, you sit your ass on the floor you, or you was walking around and talking and doing whatever, anything but saluting the flag. Oh, but since it's Colin Kaepernick and he's talking about holding policemen accountable and he's standing up for injustice. He's standing up against injustice. You got a problem with that because you don't like fairness. You don't like equality. You got a problem with people being treated fairly. You like bullying. You got that mentality that only the strong survive and everybody else is weak. Therefore, they deserve any misery that they come across. Yeah, that's your mentality. That's why you don't like Colin. And people like you has never liked the underdog, has never liked people who try to unite the people or who stood for something because you stand for nothing but separation and hate. It's all in your heart. Just like that officer for the corrections, uh, what is it called? Correction Officers Benevolent Association. Just like him. It's sad. It's sad that we live in this type of world, this type of society, where a person with good intentions, a person who shares a message of hope, and inspiration 
is often ostracized. It's sad. And it, is, it would be different if it was just only a few people that was targeting him. But it's millions, man. It's millions. It's some outside of the U.S. who don't even have a dog in the fight. But they just like hating on black. So they say bad things about him too. I would say this to the people who have family, they may be incarcerated at Rikers. Watch your back. Tell your people to watch their backs. Because those correctional officers are probably going to try to get a little payback because they couldn't stop Colin from speaking, but they'll do everything in their power to stop your family members from speaking. Correction officers, I've been around them. They're not on your side. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?